Hey perfume junkies, this is Kay Loves Perfume. Welcome back. Or if you're new here, subscribe down below to join in on my perfume addiction. Hey everyone, I have sexy fragrances to talk about today and I've got everyone covered whether you are goth, girly girl, or anything in between, or even a mature woman. I've got everybody covered today. So let's get right on into it. First I have a fragrance for my slightly hippie-ish girls or my slightly tomboy girls. This is Angel Muse by Terry Mugler. Now this fragrance is a nice, beautiful Nutella chocolatey hazelnut fragrance, but there is a lot of vetiver and patchouli to back it. So you're gonna get like a bohemian goddess type vibe or a tomboy type vibe. So that's Angel Muse by Terry Mugler. Next I have a fragrance that is on the more expensive side, but there are dupes for it from like Dua fragrances and stuff like that. This is Delina by Parfums de Marly. Now, this fragrance is a gorgeous incense smoked rose. It's a jammy kind of rose with a beautiful sour tart rhubarb note. And then there's a little bit of nutmeg in here to spice it up. Just a out of this world fragrance. Super sexy, super gorgeous super beautiful fragrance worth the price point in my opinion but if you can't afford it there are dupes out there that are wonderful just like this fragrance and this is for anyone that's either a girly girl a goth girl a tomboy anything in between i mean i know this fragrance is pink but the liquid and the juice inside is seductive and sexy that's perfumes de marley delina Next, I have a great summer fragrance. It's sexy, it's sweet, it's for you girly girls, and it would even fit edgy girls. This is Hot Couture EDT by Givenchy. Now this fragrance has a beautiful raspberry and strawberry, great for summer, but it's different. It is different than other fragrances because it features a tobacco-y, kind of cigar or like a spice note behind the raspberry and behind the strawberry. So you're going to get a just a beautiful, unique fragrance and definitely go for the EDT if you're into the more sweeter fragrances. The EDP is much heavier on that tobacco note. So that's Hot Couture by Givenchy, the EDT. Speaking of EDTs, We've got another EDT that is absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. That's Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Now this particular fragrance, it's so, so complex. There's so much depth to it. But basically what you're gonna get from this is a gorgeous root beer flow. It is so sexy. It sounds weird, but it is so sexy. It projects like a beast. And it's an EDT and it's long lasting. Oh, there's, oh my gosh, this fragrance is just out of this world, you guys. Beautiful, almondy, kind of slightly spiced fragrance. That's Hypnotic Poison EDT by Dior. All right, next we have Secret Obsession by Calvin Klein. Now this is a deep, dark, seductive, mysterious plum fragrance with sandalwood so it's slightly woody. There's a little bit of a like tomboy touch to it. And then there's nutmeg to spice it all up and it just makes it super sexy, beautiful. There's vanilla in here to sweeten it. This is just very unique, very beautiful fragrance. This is Secret Obsession by Calvin Klein. Next we have one for the mature audience. This is Obsession by Calvin Klein. This is the original Obsession. But, so, Obsession is a woody, sort of cinnamon powder, super ambery, deep, complex, oak moss kind of fragrance. 
it's so much going on each every like 10 minutes the fragrance is changing and it's very long lasting absolutely unique beautiful fragrance but it is definitely for the more mature audience that wants to feel sexy too you know everybody's got to feel sexy this is for the lovers of complex classic style fragrances we got you covered that's obsession by calvin klein next i have another one for my tomboys or slightly like hippie-ish bohemian goddess kind of girls Cartier du Dragon. This is, let me pronounce it correctly, Le Bassier du Dragon by Cartier. I don't know if I did that right. But anyway, so this is an amaretto fragrance. So it starts off boozy amaretto. It's bittersweet and earthy. So then it goes into the beautiful fluffy almond. So it's, and then there's dark chocolate. So it's slightly sweetened. And then there's that dark chocolate to give it more bitterness. The amaretto gives it a little bit of bitterness. The almond keeps it sweet. But then there's this beautiful bed of vetiver in here, keeping it a sort of tomboyish vibe. And it does smell slightly like this one. But this one is, I guess it's much different because it's about almond and amaretto, whereas this is about that Nutella. But it, they both feature the same sort of earthy vibe to them. That's Cartier Le Bastille du Dragon. Okay, next we have Shalimar Souffle Intense. And this is the intense version. Now, this fragrance is like creme brulee, super sexy, like a flan or creme brulee. It's white floral with vanilla, but it just gives off this like thick custard type vibe beautiful just edible like your man or your woman will be like right in your neck sniffing you that's Shalimar souffle intense next we have one that's wildly popular everybody knows her but she's popular for good reason because she is sexy she is sweet she is beautiful and unique now this is la via belle by lancome this particular fragrance to me smells like blackberry ice cream in an Oregonian forest. Yes, I'm an Oregon girl. I come from Oregon. I live in SoCal now, but I'm from Oregon originally. And this has that pine tree smell behind it, like the forest behind it, way in the background. But in the foreground, you're getting black currant, powderiness, iris so it's got all my favorite things in this fragrance it's just beautiful slightly powdery super sweet feminine but sexy and it's a man or woman pleaser for sure that's la via belle by lancome next we have a dupe of baccarat rouge 540. now baccarat rouge 540 is coming in the mail to my house it's going to be my new baby my husband's buying it for me. Well, Baccarat Rouge basically smells like salted cotton candy. If you can imagine what that smells like, it's so interesting. It's so unique, but it is so sexy. It'll smell good on a man or a woman. Gorgeous fragrance and it's popular for a reason. Baccarat Rouge 540. Next we have La Petite Robe Noir Black Perfecto. This is for you goth girls. This is a sexy goth fragrance. Now this particular fragrance features a note of leather. Leather is so interesting in fragrances. So what you're going to get with this fragrance is leather, dark cherry, and then rose, like rose jam, jammy rose, and it's just gorgeous beautiful fragrance very complex there's a slight hint of licorice in there not much so licorice haters don't have to be aware of this fragrance but yeah so this is for you goth girls that's la petite robe noir black perfecto all right girly girls i got you this is c fiori by giorgio armani now c fiori is a black currant and vanilla fragrance it's kind of like bubblegum in a way. It kind of smells like grape bubblegum, but in the best way possible. It's beautiful. 
it's not super duper complex, but it's it's semi complex. So it starts off with a black currant, then you get into the vanilla, and it kind of gives off this bubblegum grape vibe, and then it turns powdery, and it's just beautiful and seductive. You can wear it year round. It'll work fantastically in the summer. And yeah, it's super sexy and a man or woman pleaser for sure. That's C. Fiori by Giorgio Armani. Last but not least, I have a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Tom Ford's Lost Cherry is a beautiful, complex cherry fragrance. It's a sweet maraschino cherry on top of a hypnotic poison on top of a hypnotic poison kind of base. Beautiful, complex, almondy vanilla. Um, just a gorgeous base with that beautiful cherry on top. So it's super sexy, I'd say. Honestly, if it wasn't so expensive, I'd own the real thing. But it's pretty expensive. And it doesn't last as long as the dupes. So I would go for dupes from like, it smells good. So Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Beautiful, sexy, just edible fragrance for sure. So that's Tom Ford, Lost Cherry. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to join in on my perfume addiction.